Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the end stops, which is something that a lot of people find uh, difficult. And I get that. It's not straightforward with the uh, redeem and replicate. So let's say that you have your board connected and you have your printer all looking fancy and everything. Uh, but you need to connect each end stop so that it stops the uh, stepper motor from bouncing off the wall there. So the first thing I want to know is, uh, f because this is a delta printer, the what each axis is isn't sort of, uh, it's not specified in a defined manner. So uh, I need to figure out which axis is what. And the way I do that is I go from a Cartesian system into, I mean from a delta coordinate system into a Cartesian system and then I press the X, Y, Z button and then I see what 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 moves, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write M270 S0 and that should put it into a Cartesian mode. So X is, X is the one in the back, Y is this one and Z is that one okay cool then I know that then I go can go back to the Delta coordinate system so if I now press the Z they'll all they should yeah they'll all move in compare in, uh, in, in in synchronicity okay so um, then I need to figure out which end stop is what. So if you have a if you have a, a manga screen connected and toggle running on that, that, then it's pretty easy. It should show up. Just press. That's the X one. This is the Y one, and this is Z one. Okay, so that that was easy. If not, that information also shows up in the terminal of Octoprint. So also shows up here x1 y1 z1 cool now I remember that this this was the y-axis okay and that is the X button which is doesn't really make any sense but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so the the M code I'm going to use to connect those two because if I now move upwards it's oh yeah Okay, so I've already <laughs> done this before, but hold on, let me reset this. I tried to do this video before, so I've already done it. <laughs> let me just reset that. X1, Y1, Z1. All right, so this is the, your starting point. If you just write M574, you'll see how it's configured now. And now I've, I've deleted all of it, so it's. If I try to hold this in and then move, then nothing happens. But I want this one to stop when this in this is pressed, right? So the way to configure that is the M five seventy four command. And by the way, if you're ever wondering what M codes are implemented in Redeem, you can just write M simply M and that will give you the list of codes. If you want to know more about a specific M code or G code, just write the code in a question mark and then it will give you the information like a long description for it. Okay? So M574 and a question mark says that I have to use um so M574 X1 X counterclockwise for instance if you want to stop the X axis going counterclockwise you can also use positive or negative so X pos or Y neg or whatever um, X1 stops Y positive let's try that M574 X1 stops Y positive and yes it does stop that which is good you see that stops it great how about that one I remember that the X stop was Y1 so I 
I even remember. <laughs> M 574 Y1 stops, and that was the X axis, that one. So it stops the X positive. Let's try that. Yes, that works. And then finally we have X stops Z1 stopping the Z going positive. Z1, Z positive. Cool, that looks right. Then I can try a homing. Pow, and it goes right into the hotbed. But you know, at least it does what it should. So that's that. Uh, use either clockwise or counterclockwise or positive uh, or negative. So X underscore positive or pause for positive. Then it's um, it doesn't matter which direction of the stepper you're. I mean, you can you can change the direction of the stepper, um, and uh, that won't affect it. The other way, it's just the physical way that the the, uh, the stepper is moving okay that's it I think um, I'll probably do some more of these info videos for configuration stuff so pay attention to that cool